Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about managing passwords, which has become a total nightmare. Trying to remember different passwords for every single account is practically impossible. Last month, I found myself locked out of one of my own accounts twice in a single week. This is when I finally cracked and admitted to myself that it was time for a password manager. But with so many password managers out there, I wanted to do a little test and compare the two biggest names, 1Password and LastPass. So I've been using both side by side for about a month now, testing them in everyday situations, and I wanted to share which one might be the better choice for protecting your digital life. And let's start with 1Password, which I've been using mainly for family accounts. The first thing that stands out is just how organized everything is. The way 1Password works is that you create a master password. This is the only thing you'll need to memorize, and then it keeps everything locked up in what they call vaults. It's cool, actually. I can have different vaults for different parts of my life. Like I keep one for personal accounts, another shared with my wife for our household stuff, and a separate one for all of our kids' school and healthcare logins. Apparently, there's so many different websites that schools use these days. So the organization and system makes everything so much easier. One of the standout features is called Watchtower. It constantly monitors your passwords and alerts you when there's a problem. Last week, I was paying some bills and out of nowhere, I got a notification about these two old passwords that were involved in a data breach. And within minutes, I had new secure passwords set up for those accounts. For travelers, 1Password offers another thing. It's called travel mode, and it adds this nice layer of security when you're on the go. It lets you remove sensitive data from your devices temporarily, which gives me real peace of mind when I'm on vacation in a less secure area. Moving on to LastPass. Now, this is the name that probably most folks have heard of when it comes to password managers. I set this one up actually for my dad because he was still writing down passwords on little pieces of paper. I don't think he ever knew he was part of an experiment. I just couldn't take the scattered post-it notes anymore. LastPass works similarly to 1Password. It stores all your logins behind that one master password. It's got a clean interface that's pretty straightforward to navigate, which makes it great for people who maybe aren't as tech savvy like my old man. What I noticed right away was how smoothly the browser extension works. When I tried to access some of his online accounts, LastPass popped up immediately and it filled in all of his information without any issues. We then used the password generator to create new secure passwords for his important accounts. Now it also has this dark web monitoring feature. It alerts you if an old email has been part of a data breach. Uh, we got an alert like that and we were able to check exactly what information might have been exposed and update any other accounts using similar login details. Now let's talk money, because we all want good value for what we spend. 1Password doesn't have a completely free version, but they do give you a 14-day trial to test it out. After that, the individual plan runs about three bucks a month, but for families, which is what I went with, it's $5 monthly and it covers up to five people. I did, just out of curiosity, look into their business options as well. Their team starter pack is around $20 a month for up to 10 people, which seems pretty reasonable for what you're actually getting. Now LastPass, on the other hand, does have a free version, which initially I tried out, but there's a major catch. You can only use it on one device type, either mobile or computer, but not both. And when I realized that I couldn't sync between my phone and my laptop, I just upgraded to the paid version. It's $3 a month, which is on par with 1Password. But their family plan is a dollar cheaper at $4 instead of five. Not a huge difference, but if you want something off the dollar menu, it's something to consider. For small businesses, LastPass starts at $4 per user monthly which is definitely more affordable upfront than 1Password's business option, but their full business plan increases to $7 per user. 
So the savings might disappear as your team grows. And by the way, I have affiliate links for both services down in the description. You'll get special deals through these links that aren't available if you go directly through their websites. So be sure to check those out if you decide to try either service. Now let me share a quick real world example that might help clear up the difference in your head between these two services. Last week I was going to get my car washed and apparently you need an account for that too these days. So with one password, I was able to generate a secure password right there, save the new login and have it synced to all my devices immediately. The next day, I was helping my dad with a similar task using LastPass. While it generated and saved the password just fine, I did notice the experience wasn't quite as smooth when it came to saving additional information like receipts. It's these little conveniences that can make a difference in everyday use. Now, both these services get the basics right. They generate strong passwords, they fill them in automatically, and they sync across all your devices. That alone makes them valuable tools for improving your online security. One password just felt more polished overall. The interface is intuitive and the organizational system with different vaults works really well. The watchtower feature has been so helpful on multiple occasions by alerting me to compromised logins or weak passwords. Now LastPass, still plenty capable. For basic password management, it absolutely gets the job done. And its interface is straightforward enough for most users to navigate easily. Now for both, they've got downsides, as do anything. LastPass has had some security breaches over the past few years. It made the news, it wasn't great. They've worked on fixing things and become significantly more transparent since then, but you should consider that. One password has had this small issue with their Okta service back in 2023, but it didn't affect users and they communicated about it quickly. One minor annoyance with both is that you need browser extensions for the autofill to work properly. Don't get me wrong, not a deal breaker by any stretch, but if you're the kind of person that likes to keep your browser extensions minimal, it's worth just mentioning. So which one do I actually recommend? Well, it kind of depends on what matters most to you. If you value organization, family sharing, and extra peace of mind from features like travel mode, one password is worth the extra dollar a month. Personally, I've used it for our family and it's made all our digital account management so much easier. But if you are looking for something straightforward that simply works, or if you're on a tighter budget, LastPass is still a solid choice. Despite previous security concerns, they have truly improved their service. Above all else, the most important thing, regardless of what you choose, is that you actually use that option. A password manager that you set up but never open, it just ain't gonna help keep your account secure. And just a quick reminder, I've included my affiliate links for both 1Password and LastPass down in the description below. Using these links gives you special discounts and helps support the channel at the same time. I'd love to hear if you've made the switch to a password manager yourself, and if so, which one you're using. Drop a comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.